Hello. Long time no see. Yeah, happy break. Awesome. I hope you're enjoying it. The weather's been beautiful, and we're ready to get back to work. How about <laughs> One you? One of us got out on their motorcycle, just saying. We're going to hit up asses and bases this unit. So, as usual, we're going to hit up our themes, essential questions, yeah. targets, and assignments. I think some things, some words we've, we've heard in the past. Yep. Maybe we we're looking forward to learning about in chemistry, acids and bases. For sure. But here we go. What makes a chemical compound an acid or a base? You're going to know that. Got it. Uh, how do you recognize <clears throat> them quickly from their chemical formula? Easy acid. trick. Easy trick. You'll see. Um, what are the chemical and physical properties of acids and bases? This one's key. You gotta know there's a handful. Like six, there's a six each or so. This is really important to me in this unit. What does the pH scale really mean? Yeah, this is the math, actually. Yeah, yeah. we're going to try and avoid the math, but it, as we're it really is it. where the math is. Um, acid base indicators, you actually are really good with these, to be honest. I love them. Uh, really indicator really dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can, we can make some pretty colors. What happens when two of them mix? Acids and bases. Maybe you've done this vinegar baking soda volcano, but why does that really function? Why does that actually work? What happens yeah. when you mix an acid with mm -hmm. a base? Yeah, and this is actually a neutralization. We'll mm -hmm. use that for concentrations, titrations. Do acids really eat through the surfaces like in the movies? Yeah, like all those alien movies or television Some of them. shows you've seen. So I give you a little bit of truth on that. So. Yeah, well, hydrochloric acid will definitely <laughs> do that. We'll tell you about those when we come to it. Yeah. Uh, learning targets quick. Let's make sure we write all of these down. I can't explain how acids and bases behave using the theories of Arrhenius theory and the alternate theory. Sure. I can't identify the characteristics and properties of acids and bases and neutral salts. Yep. Ionic solids. Um, how <clears throat> can I explain exchanges in concentration of hydronium for acids and bases and how that relates to the pH scale? Again, that's why I said pH is very important because it means something really bigger than that. It really does. We'll, we'll take it farther than we've learned in you know living environment. Uh, predict pH, mm -hmm. indicator colors. So basically, I got a I got a solution at a pH. What is the indicator going to color? It's going to be color. using a chart, of course. Yep. I can predict the products of acid base reactions given known acids and bases. So just like a double replacement, we're going to show you how to predict what two things come out of this acid plus that base. And there's two products. generic things all the time, which is nice. You can memorize that. And then it is just a double replacement, so it's easy. Yeah. Uh, use acid-base titration to determine the concentration of an unknown. This is the lab. It's my favorite. And this is the this is the algebra piece that's mm -hmm. in the reference tables also, but sure. this is what we'll learn in lab. Yeah. Very useful technique yes. in life. Um, let's see. Sorry. Can we use the reactivity series? So there's another reference table to predict which metals would react with acid to produce gas. Okay, some will, some won't. That reactivity series will help us figure it out. Yes, it will. And then there, there's our unit. Yeah. There are, uh, the packet's a bit thinner, but there's a lot of assignments this unit, so uh, get cracking. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there seems like there's more homeworks this time than before, lecture videos. Mm -hmm. So can we watch more than one in a night? Let's, can we start cranking them out maybe a little bit? See y'all later. Yeah. Short.